Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia, Psalm 119. Psalm 119. With 176 verses, the psalm is the longest psalm as well as the longest chapter in the Bible. It is an acrostic poem, in which each set of eight verses begins with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The theme of the verses is the prayer of one who delights in and lives by the Torah, the sacred law. And like most other psalms, the author did not include his name in the text. The psalm is a regular part of Jewish, Catholic, Lutheran, Anglican and other Protestant liturgies. It has been set to music often. British politician William Wilberforce would recite the entire psalm while walking back from Parliament through Hyde Park to his home. Background and Themes In Judaism Psalm 119 has the monikers Alpha Beta and Teman European, Aramaic, Eight Faces, King James Version. The English version in the King James Bible can be seen at Structure. Psalm 119 is one of several acrostic poems found in the Bible. Its 176 verses are divided into 22 stanzas, one for each of the 22 characters that make up the Hebrew alphabet. In the Hebrew text, each of the eight verses of each stanza begins with the same Hebrew letter. This feature was not maintained in the Septuagint, except that many manuscripts have placed at the beginning of each stanza the name of the corresponding Hebrew letter, for example, the left the first stanza, the last is Tor. Because of this structure, the psalm was one of the main occurrences of the Hebrew alphabet in the texts of the medieval and modern West. Each of the sections of eight verses is subheaded with the name of a letter in the Hebrew alphabet. These subheadings are spelled very differently amongst the various Bible text versions, even amongst the translations into different foreign languages. Their antiquated spellings shown in the authorized King James Version of 1611 were written with influences of Latin and German medieval theological scholarship forms which greatly differ from the standard modern-day renditions. Most printed editions also show the actual Hebrew letters along with these subheadings. Letter. Literary features. This psalm is one of about a dozen alphabetic acrostic poems in the Bible. Its 176 verses are divided into 22 stanzas, one stanza for each letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Within each stanza, each of the eight verses begins, in Hebrew, with a letter. The name of God, Yahweh forward slash Jehovah, appears 24 times. Employed in almost every verse of the psalm is a synonym for the Torah, such as Tabar, Word, Promise, Mishpatim, Rulings, etc. The Roman breviary of Pope Pius V has Psalm 119 recited in its entirety every day, the sections corresponding to the first four letters of the Hebrew alphabet at prime, and the others in sets of six sections each at terse, sex and none respectively. In the 1910 reform of the Roman breviary by Pope Pius X, Psalm 119 is recited only on Sundays, divided as in the arrangement of Pius V, since the reform of the Roman Rite liturgy in the wake of the Second Vatican Council, the Liturgy of the Hours has a section of Psalm 119, corresponding to a single letter of the Hebrew alphabet, in the midday canonical hour on each day of the four-week cycle except on Monday of the first week, when the second half of Psalm 19, 18, which is similar in theme, is used instead, and on Friday of the third week, when the Passion Psalm, 21, is used. In addition, a section of Psalm is used at Saturday Lords in weeks 1 and 3, and another section at Vespers of Saturday of week 1. In the Roman Rite Mass portions of Psalm 119 are used the responsorial Psalm on Sundays 6 and 17 of year of the three-year cycle of Sunday readings, on Saturday of the first week in Lent and on the third Monday in Eastertide. It is also used on five days of year I of the two-year cycle of ordinary time weekday readings and 15 days of year E. The portion is also used on the Feast of a Doctor of the Church. Musical Settings the complete English version of Psalm 119 from the King James Bible was completed by Frederick Steinrock, Michael Misioshek, and Michael Owens. In Protestant Christianity, various metrical settings of Psalm 119 have been published, including O God, My Strength and Fortitude, by Thomas Sternhold, which appeared in the Scottish Psalter of 1564. The psalm is put to music in the Book of Psalms for Worship published by Crown and Covenant Publications.